Welcome. You're watching the Tip Star Rundown, the only YouTube channel to bring America's Test Kitchen home on a budget and congratulating America's Test Kitchen on reaching 1 million YouTube subscribers. John F. Kennedy once said, Ask not what your Cook's Country Magazine subscription could do for you, ask what you could do for your Cook's Country Magazine subscription. I feel like I'm doing a little bit of both whenever I purchase a Cook's Country Standard Issue Magazine from the Thrift Store for 99 cents, or in this case for 50% off, so pocket change, 45 cents. And I'm not a subscriber to Cook's Country, or America's Test Kitchen, or Cook's Illustrated for that matter, but because I purchased it for 99 cents, it's right here on my table. Anyway, you know Cook's Country is a product of ATK, which brings their no-nonsense approach of home cooking to the American frontier, to the American repertoire of timeless, lost American recipes. Like the ultimate bacon burger on page 14, which I don't really think is a timeless recipe, but if it has bacon, it's gotta be timeless. We weren't satisfied with bacon that just piled on top of the patty. We wanted bacon inside. How did they do that? Read more about that on page 14. Plus a few other recipes in here down the line on the right side. And an ingredient testing, radiant analysis of the best bottled barbecue sauce. They tested seven top sellers. And yeah, there is another Cook's Country issue underneath this one. I have that there for good reason. Because that too was also purchased for 99 cents and for 50% off in conjunction with this one. So same discount, 45 cents. In the meantime, we'll start with our 30 minute suppers right here. Tuna steaks with cucumber and peanut salad. Spiced beef pitas, smoked salmon niçoise salad, that's a variation on one of France's most popular and enduring salads, and hash brown frittata. These are recipe cards, so you just cut along the put in line right here, down the middle, and you get individual recipe cards. You may not see them, but the dotted line, the put in line indicates where you can cut if you look close enough. Our next set of 30 minute supper cards include jalapeno chicken quesadillas, teriyaki chicken kebabs with grilled bok choy, also with sauces and broccoli lob, and grilled pork chops with plums. Again, just cut along the printed line and you'll get your 30 minute supper fits right there. So in total, 8 30 minute meals recipe cards. I believe Rachel Ray invented the art of the 30 minute meal and America's Test Kitchen perfected it. If Rachel Ray didn't invent the art of the 30 minute meal, she certainly gave a new life of its own to it. And so did ATK. And now we're on to the special section recipes as I like to call it. Here we have here a cooking class, step by step, for how to make a grilled vegetable salad. So this is a thoroughly broken down instructional section on how to make a grilled vegetable salad. Too often vegetables come off the grill crunchy and scorched or watery or soggy. Here's how to cut and cook them for perfectly tender, lightly charred results. So they give you step-by-step -step instructions, which set of ingredients to be on the lookout for when purchasing ingredients at the market for this recipe, and simple photographic step-by-step -step instructions. Ten simple steps. This serves four to six. This is a one pan wonder recipe by the name of chicken with couscous and carrots. Our goal, juicy chicken plus vegetables and starch all in one skillet. This is by Cecilia Jenkins and this will serve four. I apologize for the background noise. It looks like somebody's hungry out there. Well, it sounds like it. And I'm serving this in the morning, so that for breakfast? Mmm. Weird. But in a way, not so. Hey, this is America! We eat what we want at any given time that we want. Here is a pineapple saucer with four easy variations. Actually, five. One master recipe and four variations right here. With cucumber, mango, roasted red peppers, and watermelon. And of course, they're all indicated right here in these four photographs. And the master recipe here at the top inside of that petite uoboku. Friends, it's time for a mini food processor. For a slow cooker recipe, we have Ropa Vieja. Some dishes need extensive adaptations to work in a slow cooker. This one is tailor-made for it. It's by Matthew Fairman. 
That will serve for the six. Now the white we have cooking for two. A terrific date night option. Delicious chicken Florentine. This buffet line favorite was due to be fussed up, not to mention sped up by Ali Buckley. Along with historical backstory on the time of Florentine. And we can thank Catherine de Medici, an Italian noble woman from Florence, marrying Henry the Second of France and moving to Paris for the name of this splendid dish, Chicken Florentine. Date night meal. Check! And on to equipment and ingredient testing and analysis. Pairing knives here for equipment ratings and bottled barbecue sauces for ingredient testing. So we have here the recommended barbecue sauces, Bullseye, the overall favorite Heinz and Sweet Baby Ways. Wait a second, I thought Nassau brand barbecue sauces tasted like motor oil. Hmm. And the recommended paring knife, highly recommended, the Victorinox Swiss Army 5 box 12 3 and 1 quarter inch spear point paring knife. This is the same manufacturer, by the way, that manufactured their favorite chef snipe. The Tornots, Five Arts, Forstner, Chef Snipe. Eight inches. Their long time favorite. Here's an heirloom family recipe for easy blueberry cobbler, serving eight to ten with vanilla ice cream. And a message from Brian Roof, Cook's Country TV presenter and executive food editor regarding the easy blueberry cobbler. And for your great American cake, which is a standard for every Cook's Country standard issue magazine, this is a pig picking cake. In some states, this light fruity cake is served at a whole hog roast or pig picking party, but we think it would be a hit at any barbecue. And because this is prime time barbecue season, even though we are still being socially distant and more acutely aware of our health nowadays, we still need to find some time for some barbecues. Provided that we can stay six feet apart of our guest, I recommend separate tables. All the recipes, well, almost all of them, inside this issue are listed on the back. Along with recipe card recipes right here, indicated by the letters RC. Recipe card, which I showed you. So there you go, Cups Country. And I don't particularly know what date, what month, what year this came from. I believe the price tag is covering that up. But this definitely fits well for summertime, especially if you consider these recipes right here on the side. That just screams summer on a plate. On a bun, really, in between two buns. Now we move on to Cook's Country, part two. Again, same price, same discount, and actually a duplicate of a Cook's Country magazine that I bought a long time ago. Don't believe me? We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison right now, so you can take a look. And while I don't really think that this deserves a redo, I did not go over particular highlights of that issue, so that's what I'm going to do for this portion of the program. As you can see, aesthetically speaking, they're different, but internally, same recipes, same ingredient testing, same equipment reviews and ratings and analysis, that is all there is to it. And you can see right here on the border, with the caption for this recipe, that this was made in a much older time. I apologize for the background noise once again. Biscuits on American original and regional favorites all over the country. In Charleston, South Carolina, folks favor cream cheese biscuits said to be particularly soft and fluffy. And they are, now that we made dozens of batches in our test kitchen to figure out their secrets, aka their renovated 16th century Vermont farmhouse where they tape cooks country. Although I don't think they'll be taping in that particular farmhouse anytime soon, they're going to be sitting the new season of ATK from home, their respective homes, as so confirmed by Julia Khan Davidson on her Instagram account. And yes, the cream cheese biscuit photo here on the cover is different than the one right here. And the previous Cook's Country issue, which I just showed you, that was made in the Christopher Kimball era. This is post-Christopher Kimball, but no less effective in getting your butt to the kitchen. So, let's get started. Here we have more 30-minute meal suppers, and great options for light dining. Some of them, chicken breast with parsley and tomato couscous, 
indoor burgers with crispy onions, Italian sausage and potato frittata, spicy pork and broccoli stuff, stir fry. So cut along the printed line and you'll have your individual 30 minute meal recipe cards right here. Photographs on the front and recipes and instructions on the back. Same deal here. Tennessee pork with greens, steak and blue cheese panini, mousse soup pork and pasta al forno. Like Annalini al forno. We have here Spanish chicken cutlets with yogurt sauce, whole wheat penne with baby spinach, ginger beef and ramen noodle soup, and chicken parmesan subs. Here we have shrimp and arugula salad with a lemon to get. Sorry, the uh, lady here is censoring some of the uh, recipe photograph and the title. I gotta get better lighting in this building, let me tell you what. Spicy grilled flake steak with zucchini, kung pao chicken, and BLT wraps. Another nice light option. Ooh, a mac and cheese casserole. Because nobody's really perfected the art of American macaroni and cheese ever since Thomas Jefferson first brought it to the Americas. For your cooking class, by the way, same features as the previous Cooks Country issue, we are learning about meatballs and marinara, and the best practice and procedures for making them. And your step-by-step -step photographic instructions right here. Recipe makeover! A lighter version of scalloped potatoes. Every bit is flavorful and every bit is delicious. As so refined by Carolyn Papura McKay. Cookie for two, breakfast casserole. Uh, I'm just gonna save that for a after dinner respite after a rather raucous night in the sack upon the completion of a successful date night meal. You get what I'm saying, right? If you make something special for the love of your life or the love of your life elect, and it's so good that they elect to stay at your house overnight, and something else happens down the line, you're set to go. For our five easy recipe section, we have one master recipe for a creamy cucumber salad and four variations involving apple, bacon, and parsley, carrot, cilantro, and cumin, fennel, garlic, and oregano, and radish, lemon zest, and mint. Perfect for your next summertime picnic or outdoor barbecue. Again, Provided that you're practicing so, so distancing. Slow cooker recipe, perfect pork loin. Lean pork loin cooks quickly, which is actually a disadvantage in the slow cooker. Sarah Gabriel set out to give it some much needed assistance in the slow cooker supper department. The guy was in handle the creamy cucumber salad. Taste test the mayonnaise, a quick review of all purpose risks. Recommended mayonnaise, blue plate wheel, and of course, your classic helmets, the wheel and the light. The best all-purpose wrist, Axo Good Grips, 11-inch balloon wrist, $9.99. Your heirloom recipe, sausage sauerkraut balls. A new take, if you will, slightly akin to potato and beef kinesis. And the Great American Cake, peanut butter and jam cake. By the way, if you get your heirloom recipe submitted to Cook's Country printed in one of their magazines, you win a one-year subscription absolutely free. How about that? We sandwich fluffy white cake layers with sweet peanut butter frosting and raspberry jam to turn this brown black classic into a very special after-school treat. If you want any indication that this was, um, Published post Christopher Kimball, take a look at the staff listing right over here. Going to the top, we have Chief Executive Officer David Nussbaum, who's actually noticed me a few times on Twitter. And you know what? I can think of no better image to end this video on than the American Standard Pairing. Meat and potatoes. So expertly done by America's Test Kitchen. The rating I give this will be the same as the rating I give this, because I'm definitely giving this away. Five and five. So, ten out of ten. 
Hey, if you haven't seen my 4th of July video, which is all cooking themed, One Nation Under Grub, there's no way to carry that video, but I urge you to check that out. Because if we don't believe that we're One Nation Under God, we should all believe that we are One Nation Under Grub. So we need to get our butts in the kitchen and make the most of the summertime. Because, as Sasha Petir says so eloquently and valiantly saying in the theme song for that particular video, this cook's country is badass. And so, too, is America's Test Kitchen. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.